briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1988, a critical case, the United States versus Dietrich, came before the United States Court of Appeals for the Seventh Circuit. At the heart of the case was John Dietrich, a man convicted for selling counterfeit notes. However, Dietrich was not prepared to accept the verdict without a fight and pushed the legal boundaries in an appeal challenging the rule that minor errors in a trial, lacking substantial impact on the case outcome, won't overturn a conviction. Dietrich's trip to Missouri, where he sold his counterfeit $100 Federal Reserve notes to Norman Ellsworth, led to the original conviction. It was this conviction that Dietrich appealed with the hope that his arguments would sway the court to his side. To demonstrate his point, he raised three substantial issues. Dietrich first argued that when a government witness had mentioned a polygraph examination during their testimony, it constituted a reversible error, one that was so influential it deserved a new trial. Moreover, he contended that the court's immediate instruction to disregard the witness's polygraph reference was not strong enough to erase its impact on the jurors. Next, Dietrich alleged that a witness's prior inconsistent statement, a fact they contradicted from an earlier statement, was erroneously admitted as substantive evidence. This second point saw him arguing that the court had committed plain error, an indisputable mistake. Finally, Dietrich posited that the lack of supporting evidence about his daughter's alleged involvement in the crime should have prevented the government from questioning a Secret Service agent, another instance of alleged plain error. However, the court rejected each of Dietrich's contentions. In a significant decision, the court ruled that none of the district court's actions constituted plain error and that the district court's immediate instruction to disregard the polygraph reference effectively neutralized the issue. As such, the court affirmed John Dietrich's conviction, determining that the proceedings had adhered to the legal principles and that the errors cited were not pervasive or substantial enough to justify his conviction's reversal. The verdict underscored the reliability of the legal rule Dietrich had challenged demonstrating its centrality to the operation of the justice system. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.